Hi there, so uh, I have to develop a way of getting around this problem of, um, of air temperature uh, and gluing things. So um, I needed to develop a, um, a means of creating, if you like, a controlled environment um, where I can keep the temperature up. And I am going to do it using uh, big cardboard boxes. This is the solution. Um, I have a uh, I have an oil-filled radiator which I can uh, which I'm going to put into the bottom of that tall box there. Um, and then the idea is to create a kind of a housing that sits over the top. Um, that warm air can move into and 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 be trapped around the, uh, the gluing joints uh, as they uh, as they as they set. Um, so my plan is this: I'm going to try and set the thing up. Um, the heat will be provided by an oil-filled radiator by uh, that oil filled radiator there so I'm going to sit that in, inside the, the big box there against the table create an opening at the top of the big box that will feed air warm air across and then I'm going to build my um, cardboard kind of housing that sits that communicates with that box with the heater in it and sits there and traps a bubble of warm air around um, the uh, components as they cure. So that's what I'm going to do. So there's two things I need to, to, to get hold of. One is um, I need to go and get a um, some parcel tape to build the thing out of. Um, and secondly, um, we've got a maximum minimum thermometer somewhere. Um, so I'm going to try and... What's a fly? Um, I'm going to try and find that and put it in there and see if we can just make a, take a record of the temperature that it reaches. Uh, tonight at a minimum and if that is warm enough then I reckon we are good to go um, otherwise I'm just going to get stuck with this weather forever so uh, and, I, and I don't want that so um, so let's see how we get on we've got a couple of holes in the bottom of this toolbox so um, I think my my approach is going to be to put that Put this over the top, I can't really do it one handed, but to drop this over the top of the um, over the top of the oil radiator like like that. And then I'll take the um, I'll take a, a feed of warm air out of the top part here. So I'll just um, I'll just hack into that. I'll probably check you back on here and do it like as a bit of a time lapse. You'll see what's going on, I'm sure. So here we go. From uh, other YouTube content creators such as Project Binky, you will have um, you will be familiar with the concept of, of CAD cardboard aided design, and I suppose this is CAM. This is a cardboard aided manufacture. Uh, so yeah, so this looks okay. We've got the oil radiators inside this box here. We got somewhere for air to enter to be heat, to be warmed um, and then we have this uh, housing which will allow the ends of my spa which is being um, uh, scarfed together to pop out on each side obviously we're not in the quite the right shop yet but I'm just you know it's just mocking it up I think I could ideally would I'd be able to do three at the same time, but I think I'm just going to be able to do two. So um, my plan now is to uh, 
throw this um, maximum minimum thermometer inside. I'm not even sure how this works. Um, so I'm going to chuck that inside and just make sure that the minimum uh, temperature um, does not uh, fall below 15 degrees with the heater running tonight. Uh, it's one of those nights, it's been a clear day, we've had some beautiful weather. You can't see anything out there, but um, we've had some beautiful weather and uh, the temperature falls like a stone at night. Um, to be honest, at this time of year, even though the insulation in this place at the moment is non-existent, um, that all this stone just warms up, the floor warms up, and actually I think I suspect the temperature is fairly stable in here actually. Um, but I'm just going to make sure, because you can't be too careful when you're building your own uh, flying machine. There you go, that's what I've been told anyway. So yeah, so I just need to tape up, uh, probably tape up the top just um, to give it a bit more integrity. Um, and uh, we'll see see how we go on, I suppose. If this works, that's going to allow me to at least start doing something. Um, there needs to be another solution. Well, there will be. They'll be insulating the workshop. But before that, um, I may try to construct some kind of... Uh, some kind of tent type arrangement over the whole build table so I can actually keep things warm um, because I'm going to need to glue stuff together on the table uh, so yeah, it's just all part of the process of learning how to do this uh, there you go um, if I wasn't up for some challenges I suppose I wouldn't have started okay right well I'm going to set that up and then um, we'll take it from there actually on. Hmm. So this is why I have so many handy cardboard boxes in the workshop. I have bought a new storage solution. Hmm. Yeah, not cheap, but um, I think it's going to help until I have time to make my own uh, at much lower cost. But this will really help. So I've got a lot of sorting and labelling to do, but that's going to help me a lot, I think, to uh, remain sane, which is always helpful. All right, uh, that's probably it for now. Um, I've switched on my weird um, kind of autoclave, and uh, we'll see what the thermometer says in the morning. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, a quick one this morning. Just need to, uh, I've had this one all night. Feels nice and warm to the touch actually, and I can, I can feel warm air pouring out of the, um, out from underneath here. Um, so I'm just gonna pop you in the stand and I can just move this off carefully because I don't want to disturb the thermometer if I can avoid it. Whoa, okay, that's interesting, right. So that's saying that it got up to 40 degrees in there. That's hot. Right, okay. Minimum 35. Well, one of the little sliders has, uh, yeah. Right, okay. I mean, that is, that is warm. Um, that's very warm. Um, What? <clears throat> Just trying to work out what best to do. Uh, right, what I'm going to do, I've just turned down, I think that might be too warm. I think 40 degrees. Um, I need to look at the technical specification of the uh, epoxy. But, um, sorry, it's gone a bit. Can I get it to brighten up a little bit in the middle? Yeah, I'm sorry, it's gone a bit dark. Um, that's better. Uh, yeah, uh, that's a bit too warm. But I'd had that, at, I had the oil radiator at like minimum minimum setting, but minimum, ugh, it's got three coarse settings and then a thermostat. So I had it on minimum, but with the thermostat turned up to the maximum. I'm gonna turn that thermostat down. Um, I'm gonna turn it down and put it back in actually and see if I can, Stabilize that temperature down around about 20 degrees something like that and see what um, See what happens then <clears throat> if I can get that but it looks to me like we can definitely hold up temperature so um, <clears throat> I will uh, I think I can get gluing tonight uh, What I really need what I really want is a um, uh, an, an active thermostat in there controlling the temperature To about 20 degrees should I wait and do that? Oh. It's so painful. Um, right, I'm going to let it settle down today. See what the temp see what temperature it maintains today. Bearing in mind it's going to be a fairly warm day, but it's going to be quite a warm night as well. So um, we'll see. Right, well I'll, I'll bring you back in whenever I resolve that particular issue. Right, uh, decision made. This is the thermostat from my uh, office, my Shonky office heating system, which essentially is. One end of this thermostat is uh, goes into a plug, and the other end goes to a socket. And into that socket, I plug my oil radiator. Um, right, that's uh, it's nearly summer, hooray! So that's coming off. That's coming off the wall. I'm going to take it up to the workshop and um, uh, pop it inside my enclosure and set it to. Well, it's already set to 20 degrees because that's what the temperature I run at when I'm in here in, in the winter. Um, and, and well, that should keep it at 20 degrees, just uh, switching in and out the, um, the oil radiator at the bottom. So um, that's the only way that I think that I'm going to feel comfortable that I'm uh, maintaining a consistent temperature in there um, and getting the uh, glue joint that we need, I need most of all, really. Okay, right, uh, see you in a bit.